How's it going, rail creators? Something that I could never stand and something that always bugged me is when I would read an article about where somebody got their materials from, they would say something like, I collect roots and rocks and dirt from the backyard. But what kind of roots? What kind of rocks? What kind of dirt? Right now I'm going to show you where I get my tree scenery and it actually comes from out here in the forest. That's coming up right now on Creative Rails. Welcome back guys. So we're out here in the forest in southern Ontario. Um, this is a little bit different style. I don't have a tripod or anything with me so we're doing this kind of raw. But yeah, I'm just going to take you for a little tour through the woods and show you where I get some of this stuff. Uh, so before we do that, let's get down to business. If you could go up and do me a solid and hit that uh, subscribe bye. button while you're at that. If you could also hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you don't mind, hit that bell notification icon so you can be updated on future videos. So anyways, let's go for a little hike uh, through the woods. I'm going to show you where I get some of this stuff, and then I'm going to take you back home to my backyard to show you something else. Okay, so first things first, I'm hearing lately a lot of people using roots for tree armatures, for uh, little twigs coming off of the, uh, the branches and stuff like that. Perfect spot. If you've got a creek or a river by your house, um, look along the banks and you'll find little spots like this. See those roots right in there? Right there. And over in here, all kinds of great modeling material. So bring a bag or paper bag, whatever you want to do, and just grab a few. Now don't take a whole bunch because these are live, they're from the living tree, so don't be greedy. Just take a few from each spot and collect them. So yeah, here's a great view right here. Um, you can see my hand right here. You don't even need uh, scissors or anything. I normally just pinch them off and uh, grab a nice little chunk, put it in the bag, and off you go. Okay, so right now we are actually looking for sticks and we're going to be looking for sticks for tree trunks for pine trees and they're also going to be um, used for making dead trees and they're also going to be used for um, like fallen debris on the ground. Now I've always found the best tree to look for is cedars. If you have cedars, you are in the right spot. These, for every reason, the little branches off cedars look perfect. And like I said on my last video, going out in the fall is a great time. Um, we don't have the snow, so obviously everything's not covered up. You don't have it all wet like it is in the spring and all moldy. In the summer, uh, it's not all overgrown like it is in the summer. So let's take a look around here and I'm going to show you the suitable kinds of sticks that I look for. Okay, so here's the first kind. This one here is perfect for doing like a dead tree. See how it's got all those uh, cracks and lines and um, the broken off branches on it? You see my hand there just so you can get some scale. These, believe it or not, cut them off right about there flat, drill a hole in the bottom, put a needle. You can stick them right in the lay layout just like that. And they represent a really nice dead tree. Or you can just break them off naturally and lay them on the layout floor and they make perfect dead trees on the ground. And right here, this kind of branch right here is perfect for making the pine trees that we're going to be making coming up. It's got the bark off of it, you break these off, um, we're going to drill holes and put stuff in them, 
uh, something like this is mint. So just keep in mind for the scale you're doing. Um, end scale, this would be a pretty fat tree. Now remember, we're looking for diameter, um, not length, because we're just going to break it off th for the length. But something like this. The, all this stuff here, see how easy these are to find? They're all over the place. And this is the uh, reason I like to do this in the fall. But what we're looking for is the stuff with no bark on them. They're already weathered naturally. Okay, this is something else I wanted to show you. This is the infamous goldenrod. Now, just a heads up, this uh, plant is really notorious for um, bothering people's allergies. So just keep in mind your family and your household if they have allergies. But uh, this one here, it's not quite ready yet. Uh, we're in the fall right now, so in the fall, these are going to start to turn. And I'm going to show you. This one here is pretty well ready. They're going to turn kind of a brownish color, and they get like a white fuzz on them when they start pollinating. That is when they are ready. So collect a bunch of these, put them in a bag, and in the future, I'm going to show you how to make some fantastic trees out of this weed. And just as I'm walking down this path, um, this stone uh, gravel path, this is the stones I used on the diorama. I'll show you a little shot here. These little rock piles are actually made from these stones. So it's, it's funny, like you got to look for colors and um, try to match what's in your area. And these, they have that kind of grayish look. So these were perfect to represent the stones in my area. Okay, so I'm now back home. Now these roots, I actually, uh, I picked them in that same spot about a week ago. And all I did, I took them home, I rinsed them under the kitchen sink to get the dirt off, and then I just put them on paper towel and that's it. And they just dry, and that's all I do with them. There's nothing really else you have to do to preserve them. When we uh, spray them and glue them and everything, that seems to preserve everything and make it last. So you can see here, it's just, um, the roots are really nice because they have a really nice, uh, fine uh, branch structure. So. Just to give you an idea, that's what we are looking for. Okay, so we're now um, back home and we are in my backyard. And this plant right here is called sedum. Now this is an age old plant used for making trees. It's an old technique, but I haven't seen it done in a long time. And it's one that I use. Now where my uh, system is different is how I do my bark, um, but it's a pretty generic system. So all you're gonna do is, um, take these flowers uh, when the weather starts to get colder so very soon these are going to turn brown you're going to deadhead these and take them in to dry for a little bit and you will be ready to go now if you don't have a garden or you know you live in an apartment or something you know these are really common it's a really common fall plant so i'm sure somebody in your family or a family friend would have these and they'd be more than happy to give you uh, some because it's actually good to deadhead this uh, plant, which means cut off the flowers in the fall. It's good for it, so it's good, it needs to be done anyways. So yeah, you're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So that's it guys. I uh, hope you found this video useful and helpful. I just wanted to give a few ideas of where I get my uh, some of my scenery materials for my projects. Um, so anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe as I said in the beginning. Um, we will talk to you soon and we're going to do some scenery very soon. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.